1860 at the Wigwam Convention Center in Chicago, Illinois, a man named William Seward marched around with his crowd of supporters, and he got to the convention center too late because the gallery was stacked with supporters from a guy, for a guy named Abraham Lincoln. And as a result of getting there a little bit too late on the third ballot, Abraham Lincoln was nominated for president of the United States, and Mr. Seward lost, and he was the favorite. He was the odds-on favorite to be the Republican nominee for president and be the next president of the United States. Well, he lost, and it was a crushing blow for him. And yet, later on, Abraham Lincoln saw the uh, qualities of William Seward, and he appointed him as Secretary of State. And Secretary of State Seward did an outstanding job in that capacity. But the thing he did best, in my opinion, was making sure that the United States purchased Alaska. He purchased Alaska for $7.2 million, and it was the best buy, by far, of anything that this country has ever done. The resources that are up there are just unbelievable. And I had the pleasure to go with uh, Representative Don Young a couple of years ago up to Alaska and had a chance to see the vastness of it and to realize the resources that are available to us up there. And, and, and you just couldn't believe it. We had a chance to, to see Anwar. We had a chance to look at the Alaska pipeline and we could see what great potential there is out of Alaska if we would just use our heads and go after those resources. You know, one of the things that I don't understand and I think the American people don't understand is why the Democrats and the Republicans in this body can't get together to start using our resources to re reduce the cost of fuel, gasoline, and energy in this country. As, general, as a gentleman from Alaska just said a few minutes ago, they have the resources up there. We could get up to two million barrels of oil a day out of the Anwar, and there may be more up there. And we could do it in an environmentally safe way. It's two to three times the size of Texas. And if there was a spill up there, and of course I don't think that would happen, it still wouldn't hurt the ecology as much as we're suffering right now under the energy pressure that the American people are feeling at $4 plus a gallon of gas. We should drill in Alaska. We should drill in the Anwar. The Alaskan senators and the congressmen want that done. They want those resources brought to the surface. And yet the opposition party, my good friends over there like Danny Davis, won't let us drill in the Anwar. And I don't understand it. I just simply do not understand it. Uh, you know, if it was, uh, uh, we're drilling in, in Texas, we're drilling in Oklahoma, we're drilling in the Gulf of Mexico, and yet way up north, in the Anwar, we can't drill. I just do not understand it. And I wish my colleagues on the other side of the aisle who are influenced so much by the environmental lobby would go out on the street tomorrow morning at the gas station and say, hey, you're paying $4.10 a gallon for gasoline. Uh, would you mind if we drilled in the Anwar? The first thing they'd say is probably, where's the Anwar? But secondly, they'd say, drill any place in the United States to get my gas prices down. Now, the Democrats took over this place two years ago, and I have an awful lot of friends on the other side of the aisle, and I love all you guys. But since you took power, the price of gasoline has gone up $1.50 per gallon. $1.50 per gallon. Now, why don't we do something about that? Why don't we get together, the Democrats and Republicans, and say, okay, we're going to drill in the Anwar in an environmentally safe way. We're going to drill offshore on the continental shelf in an environmentally safe way. We're going to bring 4 million barrels of oil a day into this country to reduce our dependency on Saudi Arabia and Venezuela and Mexico and other parts of the world so we can do what we should have done 30 years ago, become energy independent. And not only do we have the oil resources at our fingertips, we have about a four or 500 year supply of natural gas, and we're not exploring that either. And I submit to you there's probably a lot of natural gas up in Alaska as well. So I'd just like to support Representative Young's resolution to congratulate uh, Alaska on its 50th anniversary as being a state. It's a great acquisition for the United States. It has a great congressman and two great senators. And I would just say as I close to my colleagues, let's get on with it. The American people are tired of $4.50, $4.10 a gallon for gasoline. We have it in our country with coal shale, with oil, with natural gas to become energy independent, and yet we're blocked every day, every month, every year. And I do not understand it. And so I'd like to say to my Democrat colleagues who are good friends of mine, since you took power, 
Gasoline's gone up $1.50 per gallon. Let's end that. Let's become energy independent. We can look at the other sources of energy while we're doing that. Other sources are very important too, new technologies. But right now we need oil and we need gas, and you guys need to help us. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time.